Hello and welcome to this tutorial series on how to implement your very own basic programming language in Python. So here is the source code of the entire interpreter and there are only 200 lines of code to provide an old school line number based source editor, lexer, parser and the actual interpreter to evaluate expressions and statements. Starting from the next video, we're going to start implementing it, but right now let me demonstrate how the end result of what we're supposed to be developing in this series is going to look like. So we can do single line statements like print hello world, real classics here. We can also print numbers, we can print some expressions, we can use parentheses. So here is a more sophisticated expression. And remember this interpreter is using integer only arithmetics. That's the limitation, but that's made for simplicity and for the sake of didactic purposes as well. Now we can also do uh, multiple arguments uh, being provided to the print statement. So for instance, print, and I can say the result of and the expression is and then the expression itself and we have the result of this expression is equal to minus 259. Now let's try to add some new lines to our buffer. So I can say list to check out whether there is something in buffer or not. So let's also clear the input here. So I can say 10 and let's say count is equal to zero then 20 um, I want to print and I want to print the count and then the count variable here then I want to say count plus equals one and then I want to say if count is less than 10 then I want to go to line 20 and otherwise I want to print all done like this so let's list our program so here it is and now let's run it okay a variable count is not defined well that's because I didn't use the keyword let so now let's list this again and we need to alter it a little bit so say 10 is going to be equal let count is equal to 0 okay and 30 I want to say let count is equal to count plus one so you see like we have an error handling here as well so let's list this again and let's try to run it one more time and we have the output of the count program we've just created what we can also do is to save our work so this program to a file so if I can say save and then let's call it count.bas stands for basic and we got it saved and now let's again clear and I want to say new to actually clear the buffer so there is nothing now but if I say load and then for instance our count.bus and then list again then we get our program back to the buffer and I can run it and have the result one more time now let's have a look at a little bit more sophisticated programs that I've created just to demonstrate what this particular basic interpreter is capable of. So I just clear this and I want to say load and I want to load the Fibonacci.bus. So this is the program to bring the Fibonacci numbers. So here it is and now if I just say run then it asks me how many Fibonacci numbers do I want to print so let's say 20 and it prints me exactly 20 Fibonacci numbers here or for instance if I want just say 10 then it gives me exactly 10 numbers okay great now let's load uh, another function here uh, or another program to be exact so this is called prime star bus and this program is calculating prime numbers so it's a little bit more sophisticated but yeah it's uh, simple enough for this interpreter to evaluate and to execute so if I run this so up to which number would you like to calculate the prime numbers let's say up to 20 and here is the output of the program and finally uh, just for fun I'm hitting another little trick here so we can print sort of ASCII art so if I say load and uh, file called girl.bus 
and I just run it, then it prints a pretty face to the screen, yeah. Well, okay guys, now that being said, this is it from my side, and I'll see you in the next video.